we're gonna talk about the drama of the day. And we're gonna be talking some major shiz today about some major people, okay? I feel like the internet, there's a lot going on lately anyway, so. Yo, Birdie. Ghetto Smosh is under attack. Ghetto Smosh fans, you need to archive every video. You need to donate to the Are Patreon. they? I figure they're lying. They're fucking lying. No, no, no. They're on a stream right now, taking every donation they can. They're begging fans, like, archive their videos. What if they're lying? The money while they can. Well, this is a very big scam, then. People are, like, saying they're going to have to rebrand, do, like, Ghetto Tabuscus or, like, Ghetto... I feel, I feel like they're, they, they're, they're trolling, dude. I feel like no, they're no, 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 no. This is real. Ghetto Smosh needs our help. If you're a Ghetto Smosh fan, if you're a true smoker if you've got the plug you need you need to help them they need our help don't they have legal grounds to exist why would they even be sent a cease and desist by smosh they're a parody i, I guess because because all their content uses video from smosh i guess but it's still legal know. like dubs are a fair use right i i literally don't know the le i don't know the law enough and i don't know how it works in america all right well but, uh, get a smosh under attack you gotta archive everything you gotta okay. save this if you guys game. don't know who ghetto smosh is it's this channel that dubs over smosh stuff but makes them makes them ghetto right so if you if we just click it sign up but i can't trust you on my um, ass no more yeah. it's gonna kill me tell me you wouldn't do the same thing Whoa, whoa, wait, hold on, don't shoot me yet. Why don't we just take something so strong that it overpowers the gas station weed? What could possibly be more powerful than a... Oh! Oh! Uh. Right, my plug gave me these perks before he got held up at gunpoint and died. He said... What'd that say? Hey, these perk 30s will get you f***ed up for cheap, homeboy. But do not take more than one. I repeat, do not take more than one. Do you hear me? Do not... He said they'll get you f***ed up for cheap! Okay, then give me that sh <laughs> And you feeling that sh yet? Nah, nigga, this park ain't sh Are you get the idea? This is ghetto smosh. It's like very. I believe the word is Kino. It's to describe this. <laughs> if you, it is, it does seem like 2009, just because of how sh quality the videos are in terms. I love of the... it though. It's so genuine. No, it's, it's great. Yeah. Recreating those like hood hood videos. It, it ironically it revives what made smosh funny when you were a kid again. Except now it's your like absurdist humor coming out. Look at smosh and is yeah, so like got... safe now. It's like old smosh, old Shane Dawson humor, right? They they got this team in. It's like five actors. I don't know. It's so weird. They probably just um, kids that know smosh each other on Discord. Forever. Uh, as far as Ghetto Smosh, if that's your... Or are you talking about Smosh? Ghetto Smosh is... No, no, I was talking about Smosh Smosh. Oh, so no, Smosh, Smosh has a ton. Smosh has a whole staff. They got bought out. Yeah. No, Ghetto Smosh is just two black guys who just, like, dub over the videos. They have these editors that do really funny edits that make it, like, both shitty to believable, but also kind of good. They've got, like, a proper intro. They've got a Patreon, a Spotify, where you can listen to two... Act oh, three now, actually, good song. Femboy... 88 Smosh says that Ghetto Smosh is them. not funny. That's a very interesting take for you. Femboy 88. Well, it's over then. Um, well, let's see here. They put out this tweet today. I figured this was a fucking joke for sure. This person says, I don't believe you. I don't believe them either. Um, today we received a cease and desist. But we don't know if it's real. We haven't seen it. We still Check don't know the if it's real. I think, I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll today see. we received a cease and desist from the Smosh team asking us to stop all online activity immediately. We have no choice to abide by their request. You do have a choice though. I feel like they're not breaking any kind of law or anything. Thank you for the past year, Ghetto Smosh fans. We'll cherish these moments for the rest of our lives, Ian and Antoine. Let's see what this live stream is about. It's just going to be them reading out I'm donations, screen, but it I seems really... pretty genuine. I don't know what that timer is. Hashtag save Ghetto Smosh. Make that timer go faster! Uh, they're doing they're reading out donations and like making a call to action. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's We need to save them. How do we know it's real? Also, how are we supposed to save yeah. them by giving them money? I, I don't know. I don't know. Do I look like a lawyer to you? I don't know how this shit works. All I know is that my favorite channel on YouTube is under attack. In this video, we made a parody smosh every cease and desist ever. Anthony Padilla and Ian Hecox are not happy because I saw this video. You are on Ghetto Smosh official YouTube main. Drop a sub for some ghetto content. I wish we just knew. I wish there was some an explanation uh the squiggly panda who is this oh they're just some music channel okay i don't know what the f this is i think it's just like whoever's running the spotify i think yeah what does it have to do with anything though i'm curious like what why would they even send a cease and desist why would they have an issue there's not like because they're taking they're, away from their business because their main twitter account has been harassing the official smosh account for over a year and they keep ratioing them and they keep like diverting attention and their channel I don't why know, do they feel the need to do that just because it's funny i guess that every tweet is 
They, they, they're the ones that started the trend of just posting Spongebob saying I need my dick sucked. Like, they're not very intelligent, but uh, no, they've, yeah. they've definitely, they've definitely like, over a year now, they harassed Anthony Padilla's main Twitter, and he responded to them in, like, a kind of funny way, and then ignored them. They've been spamming the Smosh account for over a year, and they have been getting attention. They've got, like, a massively devout fan base. Top five jobs kids want according to Forbes 2023. Kai Sinat, Squid Game, $19 Fortnite card, Spider-Man, Bug, Ohio, Aisha Speed, Twitter, Community Knows Contributor, Kick Streamer, TikTok, Meme, shirt drop shipper how do i like going home to my evil bitch wife once more i mean they're pretty funny i really wish there was fucking an explanation or proof? something about why i mean this only well, happened well, today I'm proof but i wish there was also an explanation of like why they sent the cease and desist or whatever i just saw i just scrolled through a gay man's butt or whatever um on their nice. account amazing make the rich pay this fucking fire dude i fucking love this picture this this swag this is, is so, so crazy but yeah i wish there was uh i don't know i wish there was more of an explanation of what went down here why they got hit um but oh well yeah i don't know i just wish we had an explanation because I, I i've seen their videos i think they're funny i feel like there's no way that small should send a real season desist though like we why should rap and uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, I don't say rap. I don't say rap. I'm gonna message them and say, why they send you cease and desist, I'll tell PewDiePie. Because we did message once. But I'll convince him. Why they send me you up. cease and desist. Can I see it? I'll show PewDiePie so he helps. Okay. Well, hopefully they <laughs> message me back. Genius. Cause I'll, I'll get PewDiePie on the case, dude. I'll, I'll save them. What the f***? Come on, Ghetto Smosh. Hope you guys get that shit sorted out because that really sucks. I feel like bad for them. Well, I guess what else do we really say about this topic? I don't understand. I don't understand the law well enough. I just think if they've got a channel where all the the video content, not the audio, but the video is taken from another channel, is that is that fair use? Yeah, because it's 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 not a market replacement. It's a parody in nature, so it would be. I it would, suppose. It would, it would I, again, I don't know the law well enough. I'm just I'm just confused as to how this even happened. Well, I'm curious what the cease and desist was for. Was it for like harassment? Was it for copyright infringement? Like what what was a cease and desist I'd imagine for. it's for like re-uploading our content, right? But it's That's not the, really re-uploading their content, and Smosh should have to understand that. No, but it's in a way to make a genuine cease and desist, right? Does Twitter memes count as harassment? I don't know. Um, no, I would expect not. I mean, maybe they're gonna make the case. There's no way they would sue Ghetto Smosh though. That's f***ing no f***ing way. They're not gonna sue him. No. We have no choice to abide by their request today. We received a cease and it's just it's the just same. The Tweet. Tweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really wish there was an explanation. Do they have other socials that they link or something? They have Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Discord. Do they make Patreon money? They make quite a lot, I'm pretty sure. 300 a month. It's, I mean, it's money, I guess. <laughs> Dime, gram, for a, troll, for a troll account? <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, considering what they do is just so... Like, they upload pretty infrequently when they do is just, like, dubbing over Smosh. Um, yeah, check to, like, the island one, the Dayum Island one. That one got copyright struck, and then they had to change the thumbnail as well, being offensive. But when you watch it, it's got editing in it, so there is somewhat talent behind it. I mean, even beyond that, like, just the writing or whatever is funny. Like, they, they put effort into this, clearly, right? Oh, yeah, clearly. I forgot about all these old Smosh videos. They did so many... They used to do a skit like it's every so bad. week. It's so bad. When when I when I watch these Ghetto Smosh videos, I can actually remember what videos they're from. Like, oh, this is from the Pokemon one. Oh, this is from this one. I like, kind of don't. I vaguely remember. I remember like Molester Moon pretty well because I thought that one was really funny. That one was classic. Yeah. Um, I remember. I mean, the super like the first Pokemon one. I remember was it Pokemon in real life? That was one they did for a while. No, um, they did like six video games in real lives. Oh, something. okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So there was that. I remember the songs. I remember the Assassin's Creed three song very well that one goes so hard both the ghetto smosh and the original yes. they, they still go hard but the ghetto smosh do a version of that they did that and they did um the weed plug. rap legend legend of the plug is genuinely key on my playlist shoes when i'm clubbing i stay strapping you could never kill me i've been ripping when i'm on it hemp is all that i need watch me get it cross fade it drinking and he can it slosh sweating through the streets watching ghetto smosh I like the song. Uh, what's the it one? Legend the Legend of the Plug. Legend, Legend of the Plug is so good. It's and the editing on it's actually decent. That's what I mean. Like it's made to look shitty, but you can tell that it's. Yeah, they add the lyrics. Said aloud on the streets, says that boy was 14. The cops 
You think Smosh would be more understanding considering a lot of their songs and stuff are like using intellectual property from well, their Zelda? First, their first popular video in like 2006 was them like crappily redubbing the Pokemon. It was, it was lip syncing to famous. someone else's song, yeah. Yeah, like they, they would. How well, many they, blunts say, can I, I smoke would. today? I mean, the truth is, like, Anthony and Ian were the ones who started it, and Ian's hardly involved, and Anthony's left. So, like, I kind of get it that now it's just a corporation who don't care, but even then, I, I don't know how they're going to do this, and I don't understand the law well enough. Ian must be involved, like, behind the, right. the scenes, I imagine, because he didn't hear it. No, 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 no. Did, you not watch the, did you not watch the cold ones? He, like, he has no control. He's just, like, he's long for the ride. Really? Well, he must be, I mean, is he involved, though? Like, he does stuff with them. He's in every thumbnail. I think he helps writing, and he does acting in it, but he's, he's, well, he's got, still like, involved. No control. He's still involved. Involved, though kind of but the people in charge uh good mythical mornings company and they they've got okay. a whole board in who control the channel you're eating in your car wrong let's do this how to get a million followers in a week i mean how all these videos do really like, beef and go is their most popular them. video it's beef and go here's barack obama struggled with my social life that is okay, do the individual videos do that well? No, but if you go to Social Blade, I bet their cumulative views are insane, so it's worth keeping the channel going. Really? Just... You think? Yeah, I do, dude. I actually do. I bet they're making crazy money. Um, 18 million views in the last 30 days. Um, Holy shit. That could translate no to, like, you know, if they're if it's, it's like, high-end, like that could translate to, like, 200 grand. Who is still watching Smosh? I mean, they're just so popular. People, I mean, do you think about 51 million views? It's probably still getting a few thousand that's views all, every that's day. That's all the old content. That's before this company came in. That's before Yeah, Ashley but left. still, like, it's like, major. it's so many views. Like, it's, they're probably still racking up some views cumulatively. I mean, they have some, how many videos do they have? 1.5K videos. Like, it's, a bunch of these are still racking up some substantial views. And collectively, I mean, it's a bunch of money. I, I get that. I'm just amazed it gets that many views. This person like, called me Chris is in Smosh videos. Um, it looks hello, like. I am Courtney Miller. and That's not her. There's this channel called, have you seen Call Me Chris? Call me Chris? No. Nice. It's the ultimate, like, I don't want to say industry plant because I don't think she's, like, run by a company. Oh, God, yeah. No, look at it. It's but like, it's, she, she just came out of nowhere. Know, like, like, I'd never even heard of her. You I know groceries? Like. You get free range and non-free range. This yes. is the most, like, battery farm, non-free range content you can get. Yeah. I mean, she started, well, she was probably around before this, I assume, because two years ago. Look, that's, that's clearly had content been deleted. Yes. 800,000 views on my Q&A. Well, Q&A to a channel that didn't exist at this point. Exactly. No, deleted content. But. Well, hell, it could be a. Could it be a bought channel? But look at how well, I mean, she's doing. I mean, these reaction videos are getting insane views. I and mean, this is just, I mean, this has 9 million subscribers. I assume she's got other channels she runs or something. Um, but she's, I mean, she's doing super well, all things considered. Impossible when I, when trying I recently... not to cringe. It's like Sniper Wolf. This is like Sniper Wolf reaction type stuff. Yeah, definitely. Well, but a safer brand. Um, when I when I had got my new phone recently, I didn't log into YouTube for a while because I was lazy and I kept getting in the recommendation like shit like this. Mr. Yeah. Beast, content I never watch. And it amazed me how many channels dominate this suggested for a new like a, a no channel person like it's not just like a variety of content it's the same people like mr beast over and over or like this this kind of content where it's like you know well, let's talk about this thing or can you eat this kind of food like this cookie cutter basic content people are saying she came from tiktok i could see that um, i can see that my other channels in business uh tiktok let's see how big your tiktok is no i imagine i take okay ready wait why does it okay, not okay ready why does it not take me to her TikTok? Call me Chris TikTok. I'm not making a fucking TikTok account. Whoa! 50 million followers? Holy yeah, shit. TikTok would be bigger. <laughs> Is she in like the top 20 like people on the fucking platform? So she's just like hot and puts on like I mean, outfits. You know, to someone. You don't think she's attractive? She's an attractive girl. She's what? not unattractive, but she's not my type, no. What is your type? Birdie. Young. She's not young? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> she's not old. I like him younger. What can I say? You like him younger? Okay, buddy. Um, all right, Tom, are you not at all skeptical this C&D stuff is just a prank for publicity? I'm extremely skeptical. That's what I think it is, more likely than anything. I think they're just lying. I, I believe them. It's a weird... It's it's not going to work for anything. Why now? And being like, After so long? Money. They haven't even been... If you go to their f***ing channel, dude... Three months since the last upload. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's the norm. They take five months sometimes for a new video. Okay, but like, they've had videos pop off for a while. Why not do it a year ago? Why become such a problem now? To get as much money in? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's fake. I, I think it's believable just because if it's not their, f their, their their credibility is ruined okay anyway birdie call me chris clearly people like her because she's an attractive girl i mean obviously you can look at this instantly she's got her f 
her tits out or whatever. This is why people like her TikTok. But her channel is doing crazy. And um, I mean, I don't even blame her or someone like Sniper Wolf for doing this. Because if you go to the videos tab, the videos are doing, I mean, super I mean, well. You, can't, you, can't, you can not like the content, but you can't hate on it. Like if you're consistent and you're working hard at it, like no one, no one can like take that away from you. It's not like a bad thing inherently. Call me crazy. If I go to her social but it, blade. But it is kind of corporate. Wow! Holy 57, 60 million views in a month, dude. She's making like so much money. She's making like four hundred thousand dollars a month, more, more, way more, like six hundred thousand even. She's doing crazy, bro. She's doing crazy. Holy fucking sh! Oh my fucking god! Give me that fucking money, dude. Holy sh! I'm so fucking jealous right now, dude. <laughs> it's so obvious. Um, Sniper Wolf, I think she does even like way more too. I think Sniper Wolf does oh, like Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf. Everyone makes fun of her, but she's been popping off forever. Like her content is doing really well. I'm happy I think for a while. I think last I saw her channel was doing like three hundred million a month or something stupid like that. I can believe. I can genuinely believe it. Um, uh, two hundred and uh, one hundred eighty-five million. Let's see what her peak month was. She had a month where she had seven hundred twenty-six million views. That was, that's a, that's one million dollars easy <laughs> easy 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 way 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 mil millions of dollars millions of dollars dude it's it's f***ing genius like kids content that can't be offensive like high-pitched voice but at the same time like attractive woman on camera it's like genius yeah and it's just like they don't even have to say much like they just kind of look at it like if you look if you watch this girl's video she doesn't say anything she's just like oh that's that's like how it be and uh, like she talks That's in ebonics. That's a cute pupper. Wow. Yes. Look at the cute pupper. Like that kind of shit. Whose brothers are super overprotective. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Tina from Poland. Hi, Tina from Poland. I was born into. Like, what did that add? What is genius? What, what, what is what is saying that? Yeah. Tom, super Tom, why are you laughing? My dad owned the largest store. Dude, I need to get on this. I'm, I've, dude, I've been doing shit all wrong. These guys are way more famous than me. The country and my two Just brothers were billionaires. Dude, like sounding a lot like the show yes. Succession. I need to get my girlfriend on this. Kai! Make her make her start a channel, like Kai Fairy or whatever. Make her just like high-pitched- Kai! Like, overreact to everything. Girlfriend! What the f- Hey. Can you come here? So, Birdie and I were thinking that you might need to be a YouTuber. Because, like, they-, they you, you're, you're a girl. I'm not as hot as Sniper. Sniper. No, you don't have to be. You're, 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 you're way prettier than her, but you don't have to look like her. You you just have- Like, you're very pretty. You're very pretty. You're very cute. But I don't listen. have the assets to do that. No, you do. You do. You have- You can be, like, the e-girl. You can be, like, the e-girl. Kai, you need to be- You have to- Can we- You have to promise me right now you're gonna do this. I need this money. She makes, like, millions of dollars of- month both of my siblings watched her at one point where are you going i want my pie you don't need your pie you tom, need to shake tom, on this you can't, tom you can't show the girlfriend on camera people might think you're not single that's well, like half your appeal yeah definitely buddy they're f***ing creaming okay so you're shaking your hand you're gonna become a youtuber and make me money yes for a million dollars a month i'll f***ing show my asshole on camera i'll f***ing show my show my f***ing taint on camera okay Guys, we're I'm gonna be so rich so soon. Can you close the door, by the way? I'm gonna be so rich. Okay, you can. I'm gonna be so rich so soon. Birdie, you literally just birthed the greatest. How have I never thought of this? What the? F you should pay me for the idea. Okay, we'll cut you in at one percent, which will give you about. Um, That's fine. With about ten thousand a month. <laughs> ten thousand yeah. a month. Uh, with the views that'll bring in, no problem. I'll take one percent. I'll take a zero point five percent. You get to live off that for your whole life dude i need that man i'll tell you right now uh, uh, how many views does she bring in would you can did the social blade still open dude mi minimum she's getting like 300 million a month right now she's on a bit of a dip yeah i'll take i'll take one percent i'll take, take one percent i mean she probably made that month dude she probably made like four million dollars five million dollars maybe even six like that money isn't worth your girl's dignity bro do not fucking tell me it's not worth my girl's. That is worth my anyone's dignity. Five million dollars a month? Are you fucking kidding? I would suck Saddam Hussein's like burnt dick. I would do anything for that. Dude, five million dollars? That's that's life. You're good. You're good. I, I genuinely think I could drop any morals or any principles or any values I hold for for any amount of that money. Quite frankly. Yeah. I mean, there's like a few things. But apart from that, like, pretty much anything's on the table. Would you kill for five million? And don't treat this like a joke. Seriously consider it. It depends who it is. Some random person. Like, doesn't even have a class or a gender or a race attached to them. It's just someone no. in the street. It would have to be someone, like, evil. But then that's not really part of the dilemma, is it? It's like a win-win. I guess. Well, in that case, then I'm not willing to give in, right? 
In that case, I wouldn't. Well, if it was go. a random person, no, I wouldn't do it. But if it was an evil person, I would. But obviously, you know, you're right. That that would kill the dilemma because then it's not a struggle, right? It's not. No, it's that, it's like it's like when you do a joking thing, like would you sex this person or do this thing? It's like oh, I'd sex a a beautiful babe. It's like, no, 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 no. If you're gonna kill someone for five million. It's more a question of how much is a life worth than, like, uh, the value of the person. Like, would you kill a random person on the street for five million? I think I would. I, I, think, I, I think I can go that low as a person. I think I can drop any principles or morals I have. Leaf is not close to Tom. Five mil is five mil. Five mil is five mil, but I don't know if I can kill an innocent person. That would weigh on me for my whole life. Like, I would feel horrible Look about here, that. Chat, everyone agrees. I'd kill a man for a hundred I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to enjoy my it. life. I would feel so horrible. I, I would not be able to live with myself. I'd show my ass. Five million. Birdie, do you think morally do you think morally you'd be able to live with yourself? Like knowing that you ended some innocent person's life? Honestly, I think I'd sleep like a baby. Like, really? I'm, That's I'm funny. Like, You're a piece of <laughs> shit. You suck, dude. You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm not I'm not. I just I I think I think it overrides any moral. You're just a straight up British have. psychopath who feels nothing. The the American psycho sequel, yeah. Yeah. I don't you're know the what to say. British psycho. Five five million, man. Five million. Do you know how, how easy my life would become like that? True. Like that's that's enough to live my rest of my life. That's it. That's but like, then I also think done, like that's me done. If I just had that money, I feel like I'd be so boring because I just have it all figured out. Like if you just get given that much money, like what the do you work towards you know you double it or you invest or you do something with your life i don't know i i find a new struggle beyond a monetary one but i, I but like I'm money money that. money and like you're like what feels like every person's struggle ever i, I didn't i didn't mention i'm not i'm not in this i'm not in this for women i'm in this for money don't i want success around. and no, was, security like Tom, don't beat your girlfriend well listen we got to get these videos out i don't know how else i'm supposed to motivate her to to make my sniper wolf videos but yeah i mean call me chris i mean she's she's doing super well on a, like a lesser scale but she's still making that, those like, stats are genuinely crazy she must have a money. team behind her or something there's no way she's producing all that and doing that well. i think they probably someone's, they probably each have an editor and someone's doing thumbnails someone's doing editing someone's probably also doing social media someone's probably running her twitter i'd imagine she might run her twitter but i wouldn't be surprised if someone edits gets the clips and like loosely plans a script for her like i wouldn't be surprised and i don't once again like i don't blame her you know i have people who help me out i, I have anything against her it's not my kind of content and i do think it's a bit corporate but i you know if, if they're working hard who can blame them <laughs> yeah i need i need dude i fucking need that money i would make such funny sh and i will i will make super i will i would kill for that money the amount of problems it would solve it's just unreal i, I actually can't imagine money like that it's another world hire a clipper for the live stream um well i already have um i already have a bunch of i have five people under me right now working on sh and uh so the, there's two writers for the turkey tom channel who are helping uh well writer research or whatever I and mean, i work with them every every week to pick topics to help research to help plan everything i have to read the scripts when they're done to write it um for the writing because there's certain stuff i can't automate or whatever and then there's two editors now for turkey tom who are helping me out and then there's one second channel editor who's working on this stuff even at that scale, though, it's getting difficult for me to manage that many things going on. I think I could manage, like, and even at that, we're, we're working on another channel, too. There's just a lot. And it's not even a Turkey Tom channel. It's, like, something else. So there's just so much going on already. I would like to have someone clip the live streams, but I feel like I don't live stream enough. And I also feel like I don't have a super clippable, like, personality. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm not that kind of person that just has that, like... Like, Kai Sinat, whatever you want to say about him, clearly a lot of people relate to him. He's a relatable guy. Clearly a lot of people in the youth, like Zoomers, you know, pr probably a lot of, like, black Zoomers as well really relate to him. I don't think I have that kind of personality. I don't think I have that, like, look about me. I'm not saying I'm ugly, but... but Tom, there... you definitely relate to the black kids. The black kids love you. Thank you, Kai. But, like, someone like Aiden Ross, like, he, he looks like... You, like if, if you imagine Zoom, it's literally Aiden Ross comes into your mind. Like he almost doesn't even seem like a real person. And that's why his his visual features are so important to his brand. And you kind of do to be that popular. I think you kind of do have to have that critical also looks like that. Um, he also has a look, uh, but for a different demographic of Zoomers and, and people around that age, like Zoomers, young millennials, whatever. And so I think that for me to have that kind of appeal, I think that there's things about me that need to change that I just can't change, which I'm okay with. But I'm aware of the fact that there's like a ceiling for how relatable I can be to an audience. And so I think that I can't just get by on that and I have to get by on, on making good content. Just be confident. It's not just a confidence thing though. The, the music you listen to, um, the, the way you look, the way you dress does have to be a certain way to be able to reach that mass 
appeal your interests of an your interests have to relate to your audience yeah so if you're definitely going for a general audience you need like general interests you can't be hyper specific or into a nerdy thing or something no. that might alienate anyone and i'm not upset about that i've i i accept that about the world like it's just whatever um but you know the sooner you come i come to terms with stuff like that and that's not to like limit me or whatever i have a very i have a very high ceiling for what i think i can do i don't think i'm at even 10 percent of my potential as a creator never mind like a like a just creative person in general um but i'm still cognizant of the fact that i'm i don't think i'll ever be like aiden ross famous and i'm okay with that you know that's that i can i can live with that okay ghetto smosh stuff wrapped up call me chris super successful i mean good for her you know um, not just on our success or anything. I think I saw an interview with her on the same thing that uh, Idubs went on that a bunch of people gave him shit for. Oh, what, Anthony Padilla? Yes, yes. Call me Anthony's Chris. Anthony's been killing it as well. During lockdown, he went viral. I remember every single one of his videos paid in my recommended. Yeah, like, here we he, go. I did he, watch he this. He really knocked it out. Mm. You do you. I mean, she's I still... You she, take- I don't even really know what depression was or mm-hmm. whatever. But, you yeah, know, he's been doing pretty good. His um, I mean, He's even better than Smosh, right? Oh, yeah, 10 times. Well, he's, he's more of a personality like he's not super edgy or anything but he's less of a corporate face like modern smosh is mm-hmm. wow yeah these videos are doing super super good um, again during lockdown he went viral there was a video where he interviewed a girl with um multiple personality disorder and not only did that go viral that went on tiktok and girls were like copying it and like, recreating it like he, he really did blow it out uh out the park i mean mm-hmm. in like lockdown and now it's, he's just riding that wave of success he like, has like the biggest him, guests possible too his connections are like hassan ludwig jack septikai saikuno who... i heard the ludwig one was good apparently they talked a lot about like how to do well on the platform and like al- algorithm and, like mm-hmm. sometimes he does go into like topics that interest like even maybe your audience for example mm-hmm yeah he's a pretty decent creator i like him he's cool um it's funny to see where he's evolved as a as a person as a creator because i remember back when he like talked about leaving smosh that video did pretty well um, you see he's most popular that's one i was talking about the multiple personality during lockdown this, yes. this caused like girls on tiktok to fake having it like that's how popular this was oh, this video has the self-harm topic disclaimer and it still has 20 million views that's crazy yeah i don't think she dresses ed- like one of the people that would fake it not saying she's faking it to be clear but she just dresses I, I, like a I tiktok literally, girl i literally know nothing about the topic so I, I can't comment if she fakes it or not i think it looks a bit comical to me as an observer but i have no clue i would never say she's say faking after, it i'm just saying she dresses like an her, e-girl that's all after her there were so many scandals of these like youtubers and tiktokers especially women who were like faking it and kept getting caught like not changing personality or like the, their characters that in their head or like anime characters or something along those lines like though it was it was massive it really started a trend richter and chat says god i hate curtis connor nick is not green as the dude who made the video saying sneeko needs to be like banned from youtube yeah i um, know i know i know of him yeah just like not not good let me see is the video i feel like it's one of his more popular oh he has like a few channels though is it this one green is not nick um i think i just need to look up nick is not green like, sneeko how do you need more than like two maybe three channels like what was five doing for you i think well one, you can have like the clip channel you could have like the stream clip channel you can have like the commentary video channel vlog channel youtube should ban yeah this video i didn't like when this came out not that i support what sneeko did because sneeko was being too wild but i just don't support people being banned from youtube well, for almost any reason obviously and you guys know i have this opinion i got a lot of shit when i said i don't think sneeko should be banned in my video but um yeah i just i just don't Sing gives Sneeko and his fans as little ammunition to fire back as possible because we know that every time someone utters his name on YouTube, he feels the need to make five videos crying about women and society or whatever. And before we begin, I do want to say that most of the time I don't believe that deplatforming someone is the proper way to deal with a controversy. A lot of times creators that I disagree with on a personal level are mostly harmless and I don't believe that disagreeing with someone's personal values are ground for removal from YouTube or Twitch or any other social media platform. In general, policing content can be dangerous but as you're about to see, Sneeko has grossly violated YouTube's terms of service and qualifies for removal from the website. Now, I'm not going to go into too much depth. And this is the thing, like, I don't, I feel like I don't really care about a terms of service violation. I care if it's, like, personally wrong to me. Like, why would you abide by YouTube's rules? They're f***ing stupid. They don't give a sh- about you i just i just don't get the, the the appeal to the guidelines right off the bat here but if you don't already know who sneeko is he is a gaming and commentary content creator who continues to spread extremely harmful messages to a rapidly growing audience usually violently ranting about women politics or men wearing makeup he's sort of like the new andrew tate now that he's not on the platform anymore he was recently banned off twitter and now has two channel strikes on youtube but i'm not exactly sure what the reason for that is now a little over a month ago sneeko went on his live stream to talk about one of my friends chad chad who gave me permission to make this video but 
had no part in the creation of it, oh, so and it wasn't puzzled. her idea. Yes, her suggestion for me to make. Basically, what Sneeko Sneeko's like, she needs to get, d and he like mocks like fucking her or whatever. He's like, she needs to get. D that, that's that's pretty. Reacted, yeah. It's. I would never defend what he said. I would never say anything like what he said. But but I just don't support the banning. I, it's like, what is that gonna do? You know, she made about a TikTok dating coach, and I'm the video now. You know, what's so funny about the internet. It hides the fact, and like this feminist garbage hides the fact that she's attracted to that guy making the videos. It is what it is. Girls, you could vouch for it. You know it's true. She would. She would. And you know, sister, what's so predictable? You could tell by the way she's talking that she hasn't been properly mm -mm in a long time. It's been a while. So she's on the internet making this garbage video, promoting all this feminist garbage to your lonely girls in the comment section. What you really need, Chad Chad, is some. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, mm, yeah. As a cuck, Sneeko would with know it. Feminism. He's, yeah, seen, he's seen the effects. Here. He studied mm, his wife. That's what you need. And she's going to go, ha, ha, ha. That's what you need. You need some sense back into you. And you know what they're going to do right after I did that? They're going to clip that part and say, I'm an incel problematic. But you know it's true. You can hear it in her voice. She hasn't been properly <clears throat> in too long. And now you make no sense. <laughs> okay. Like, that is crazy. What he said is insane. It's retarded. I, I I don't know why you'd watch this and go. Yeah, I agree with this. Guy. I don't even but know why he's can, the thing I is like he's like why. he's almost begging to be banned at that point. But also, yeah, I don't I, think he should be. Like that's. I don't think he should be banned for that. I don't think he should be silenced for that. But I can also say that I I 100 agree with anyone berating him and calling yeah. him an incel. Like I, I, that that kind of talk, I can see why someone would call him an incel. Well, I don't think that's an undeserved view. No, no, of course. Like, I just don't get like I don't get what the view. what the danger is from this clip existing. Like, no, I mean, what look, what you, what again, threat you, does he if, pose? If, Especially in this case, if someone agreed with Sneeko or thought, yeah, this is how you meant to talk about women, that's more an issue with that person than it is Sneeko. Why would they agree with him in the first place? Why are they predisposed to liking what he's saying? I mean, what do they think I is going to happen? Like, do they think that someone who's, who's from his audience farming? is going to go rape her or something? Is that what they think? Because that seems insane. I, it's an insane conclusion well, to draw. Is just like, harmful is just the umbrella term most of these channels are used now. It's like, oh, this thing I don't like, harmful. Well, this I'm curious. He with, does harmful. probably give an explanation. So we'll see what he says, I guess. That's Sneeko looks like my father. Thanks for the five, what Teddy. Happens, someone vouch me. You know it's true. Now, I don't think I have to explain why this is disgusting. Sneeko is harassing a female content creator, telling her that the reason why she's so upset is because she hasn't had in a while and then he proceeds to aggressively simulate a sexual assault on chad chad in his live stream yeah, in front of thousands of people epic muslim no sex wait for your wife kind of guy to say that's a bit of a weird one well weird. that's not even his argument in fairness he's saying he's mocking a sexual assault is he mocking oh, a sexual man. assault i would say he's mocking rough but it's it's not a big delineation i don't really care what you want to call it like you you could definitely argue because he was like you know i'm gonna f the feminism at you like you could argue that's mocking assault because obviously unless she wants to have sex with them like it would be right um yeah i guess but even still like, like I, it i just i just don't think he should be banned for that i don't I said there are creators who no. i disagree with and then there are people like sneeko who actively threaten other creators on youtube spread hate speech and overall make youtube I mean, less enjoyable and more like it's he didn't say he was i feel like it's not a threat i feel like it's not she needs good dick. she needs to be fucked or whatever he's saying none of that was like guys if you see this woman or like guys no. we need to yeah, like it wasn't like that and like hate speech i mean it's offensive sure it's quite vulgar but hate speech i mean even though i don't like the word hate speech hate speech is like oh this woman needs to die because of her race or something hate yeah. speech is not guys this girl needs to be happier she needs to be fucked. like that's not hate speech that's just really vulgar and immature um richter says come on sneeko should have known better and that you can't say that stuff but it was hilarious to s and to say it's harmful is a stretch i mean i i it's it's funny it does disturb me i will say it's um, shocking it's shock humor like i wouldn't say it's funny but i'm laughing as a response yeah i'm, I'm laughing Christ. i'm laughing not with him but at him i would say um but at the same time like i just don't think it qualifies as him needing to be banned now in fairness he does spread actual hate speech but my position on that my policy position on that is also extreme i think people should be allowed to spread hate speech um as long as that's not calling for the death of a group of people um i i think people should be allowed to spread hate speech in terms of like racist jokes sexist comments um i think people should be allowed to say that um you know shy shy of calling for a genocide and um i i'm even willing to allow for nuance there like i understand why you know let's say there's a far-right creator on youtube 
and people want to ban him, even though he's not explicitly calling for death, maybe he's implying. I get why people want to ban that guy, right? Because obviously, you know, if you're a, if you're a fascist or whatever, um, or if you're on the far left and you're calling for some kind of political, you know, death being brought to people, um, you're not going to come out and say go kill those people. Like it's super rare someone like that says something like that, right? Jokes aren't hate speech, Tom. I agree. Jokes are not hate speech. Thank you very much, femboy. 88. But, you know, hate speech in terms of the legal definition and hate speech in terms of what I say are very different. You know what I mean? Th these people would probably call hate, like call what I did hate speech. Sne Sneeko needs Turkey Tom to put him on a better path. So true. Sneeko needs to hit me up. He needs to say, Turkey Tom, I need some advice. I need you to optics check me. I need you to get me straight so I can make that YouTube money again. And I'll help him out, okay? Listen, I'm a nice guy. I'm, 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 I'm a positive guy. I will help everyone. I mean, this video highlights more the issue with the word hate speech and that it's just so loosely defined. What I consider hate speech and what you consider hate speech and what this person considers hate speech, you know, it's all different. No one, there's no set rules of like this specifically this thing and this specifically this thing. Like, is hate speech being offensive or making fun of someone or is hate speech like racism? Well, it depends on your, it depends on your definition, accuracy. right? It depends on your definition. That's, what, that's literally what I'm saying. It's like, that's the problem with hate speech more than what, that's the problem of what he said, you know? Yeah. Um, and I like, I, I, I feel bad for Chad Chad or whatever. I also don't watch her videos and I don't, I don't f with her vibe or whatever, but regardless of that, like the comments he made about her are unjust. If I was her, or if I knew her, I mean, I would just feel horrible. I wouldn't even want to talk about it, but at the same time, I just don't think Sneeko should be banned. I don't. And that's, that's the, that's a principled position I have, um, on these, on these topics. Um, so yeah, but no, I just, I just don't like their, uh, these, this is genre's whole, whole like swag. It's like low key, lo-fi music. Um, not trying super hard with the editing or the visuals. Um, just like kind of reacting like to stuff vocal, and kind of saying something, but not, sterile. well, it's like saying something, but not really saying much about it. It's kind of just like the take that, you know, the typical, um, sort of old, older Gen Z to younger millennial person would have on these subjects. Like it's, you know, progressive socially. Um, I just don't find it very interesting. You know, I don't find it very interesting or, or good, frankly, but you know, at the same time, if these people saw my videos, they probably would feel exactly the same about me, right? They probably would see me and be like, oh, this guy is, you know, um, I don't know, an edgy gamer type. He has the N-word DMs on Discord or whatever. He doesn't think IDub should apologize. He can't get over 2016, right? These are the things they would say about me. And it's like, it's just two completely divergent ends of the and ends of the YouTube commentary spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, we just don't, we just, we just don't, we don't with yeah. each other in that way i guess yeah the vibes are off <laughs> the vibes are very off birdie all right let me see what else is going on on the on the internet right now oh yeah well i guess just kind of tangentially related to this have you seen this talk around audience responsibility going on yeah i saw willie mack show fighting with ryan beard i saw the main discussion with ludwig around the actions it's been going on for a while now especially since the idubs thing i have lots of thoughts on it but i think everyone has a slightly different view and i think it's mainly an issue of like is your audience responsible on their own or do you have some responsibility to tell them not to do this or like to demean that mm -hmm. you know I, that's the kind of clashing views i suppose it's so complicated as an issue i don't know where to start like to state or stand on it Corrence for two says the truman show turned 25 today ever seen i have seen the truman show um teddy for five says you need to bridge the gap and make chad chad your woman to bring a new era of peace and harmony i'm good thank you very much i'm good i'm very happy with my own woman um but you know hopefully chad chad and um i don't know whoever she wants can live happily ever after probably not going to be sneeko if i had to guess tom dark would be so much better if he was tom white but i am tom dark okay you know it ain't really like that fool you know it ain't really like that like you know i ain't like tom white these days it's an interesting discussion i i'm i'm pretty I'm pretty interested in the audience responsibility thing because I feel like this is something I've been thinking about and like hearing about since the Tommy NC situation. Do you remember that with Leafy? Yes, no, of course. Tommy uh, NC I, I for you guys. I remember apology video where he was like really seemed sincere in the video. I don't know. He was like, I really f***ed up and mm -hmm. you know, I'm really sorry. So for those of you guys who don't know, Tommy NC at 2010 um, is this, this autistic guy on YouTube. And I don't mean autistic in like an insult. He literally has autism. Um, and, and pretty severe, like it affects his speech and his thought process. This isn't like functioning. Yes. Um, and he's been uh, on a lot of stuff. He's been on Tosh.0 oh before, actually. 
Um, Daniel Tosh, for you guys who don't know, is like a ridiculousness type show. Um, Tosh went out where basically he would just watch internet videos and boomers would get to watch it on, on like, I think Comedy Central it was on and laugh at it. You know, they would comb the internet for the best and funniest viral videos. They'd react to it. They'd be like, whoa, that's funny. This happened. He'd do a little, you know, riff on it. And that's what shows like Tosh went out and ridiculousness starring Rob Derdeck are. You can see here's uh Tommy SC has been on Tosh.0, I think, live before, actually. Subscribe. This is him promoting a viewing party. Hello, folks. Boys. When you say boys, you're not talking about pre Um, Let me see when he actually gets on. There he is. We'll be right back with verse. Sometimes you ride the Razor. Sometimes the Razor rides you. Arcturus, no, I cannot get you a spot in World Peace 2. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm not also not going to be on it. I cannot get you a spot on Sam Hyde. Sh Stop f***ing asking me. No. <laughs> no. Tom, can you, can you get me on the next PewDiePie meme review? Please, Tom. Dude, I will tell one of the most more annoying things, and it doesn't always annoy me, but it does annoy me, is when someone will, like, tweet at me or email me and be like, can you hit up this other person for me? No, I can't. I can't. I have to do and message them then if they don't respond I'll, I'll don't message me if they didn't respond to you that's because they don't want to talk to you so i'll occasionally get message requests on discord and it'll be like can you ask tom for me if i can talk to sunny v2 it's like no you're going through like four people no. just talk to one person no. like what are you going to say to him no no can you get me in touch with big yeah i get you in touch with big flame <laughs> But I think this is him reacting to what he remember, on the oh. show. Live reaction to my Tosh.0 oh, episode. Know, uh, Where the fuck is it? Okay, whatever. You guys get the idea. This guy, Tommy NC, autistic guy, has a YouTube channel with 100k subs. He'd been on Tosh.0, never got any sh for it. Leafy is here, decided to cover him and be mean to him uh, because of this video. Her eggs made me feel like Batman. Here's the Subscribe, video that support, Leafy reacted to. Stay positive. You can see the strangest things. I'm here in Ingalls parking lot. And next thing I know, I see this woman pulling out of her, of, out of her car, and I ran so fast, I got to the top of her car, she was pulling out, and I handed her eggs. Isn't that right, ma'am? It is. Thank you. I didn't realize I put eggs on top of the car. I appreciate that very much. Yes. You know, and the thing is, folks, it's always good to do a good Thanks deed every CCB single day. Like, yeah, I can get you a touch with Bo. you know, it's, the, no one expects you to do it, you should, because isn't that right, ma'am? Yes, it is. So, man, you know what I'd like you to do? Go out and do something good for somebody, even if you, they don't. You know. And you can see there's an obvious awkwardness to this video because Tommy it's is just autistic. It's so sad because he, he, he's trying to be genuine, but anyone would be uncomfortable when. But he is well intentioned. Like, he's well intentioned. He's obviously, but you know, this guy can do your eggs on top of the car and then he rips out a camera and. Yeah, like, he starts filming. He <laughs> starts harassing you for like um, two minutes. Well, like, he just no, doesn't no get it. He, do. he he doesn't get why it's no. weird. Well, anyway, Leafy no. reacted to this video. Leafy is here and he was pretty what, mean is he to a him. aids or something what is this guy autistic i literally can't tell is this guy autistic? how's it going bros it's pewdiepie no i'm not gonna do that because that's a lie i'm not pewdiepie guys and today i know that many of you came here to laugh to have a goof to have a good time but there will be no good times today there will be no goofs today is a very serious video and a very serious topic regarding the future of my channel my life and my life soon a few days ago, I got an email from someone saying that my whole entire channel is basically negativity and that I'm the new f***ing Hitler and I condone suicide and make jokes about ISIS and I'm basically the Antichrist. I'm the f***ing Antichrist, dude. And, and, they're right. Or he's I'm the a Antichrist. fat cyber bully piece of s*** that needs to put his head on a spike dude but i've had enough of it dude if hitler can change which he totally unsarcastically did then i can too and i am going to change starting tomorrow i will be uploading minecraft videos and i will uh, i'm gonna help people from suicide dude with with the, the, the my positive vibes and i think if i just watch one of his fantastic videos i'll be brought back into the light dude and that's exactly what we're going to be doing right and yes so you know i was just walking and i saw her with her eggs on top of her car and, and I, she didn't realize it and i came over here and i took the i took the boxes i took the box right off the top of the car those are the eggs right there they were right over here as i have my pizza over there <laughs> this situation is too f 
f***ing good to be true. Fat guy with a f***ing fedora eating a f***ing box of pizza. A box of pizza. Sees a lady with eggs on her car, runs over to the car, picks up the fucking eggs, saves the day, then goes back to vlogging to show everybody on the internet that this guy is a f***ing saint. That he is a good person and that you should like, donate, and subscribe to this YouTube channel or you're a f***ing piece of sh and, uh, but you know, these ladies, her. you see those eggs right there? Guess who saved them? I f***ing did. Now give me your f***ing daughter. She belongs to me now. What so as you can see, Leafy, Leafy is funnier than I remember. I, I thought his content was terrible. But his funnier really videos are the ones that he got the most for, I think, to be honest. Yeah, kinda. But, um, this video was pretty panned by people because Tommy's autistic. And Leafy would later claim to have not known um tommy nc leafy apology um but basically tommy nc uploaded this video saying he was getting death threats and that he wanted to be left alone i'm getting death threats leafy is here or why here we go hello folks i'm having a difficult time right now because some people are threatening my life threatening my family and all i wanted to do was inspire some leafy guy or team star people are threatening team star. me. So much people told him to kill himself. He gets upset about it. Leafy posts this apology after he Hey, what's up, video. guys? It's Leafy. And as many of you guys know, this is going to be an apology video for everything that has happened recently. And also me explaining basically what exactly happened because, I mean, a lot of people don't even know I mean, know realistically, exactly Tom, yet. did you think he didn't know? Like, I don't think he did, but it's obvious to uh, me. So. I don't know. Maybe he was, like, high on Adderall or something. It seems crazy to he, not know. He, he mass-produced content, so maybe he just wasn't thinking critically. That's true, but, but like, it was, like, every day. Like, the content, content doesn't take that long to make. Like, you have time to think about it. I don't know. It just seems... He's so obviously autistic to me. You know what I mean? No, that's what I mean. It's he not hard to tell. Autism, but, like, I don't know. For him, it, it just seems like he wouldn't do it. Like, he made fun of kids and shit, but, like, it was just embarrassing and he would make basic insults. I don't know if he knew that yeah. I was autistic. So first off, before I say anything, I just want to say, guys, I f***ed up. Um, I know I f***ed up. I'm not going to sit here and try to redirect the blame. I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. And I'm willing to admit that I am in the wrong here. And I'm sorry. And I would also like to thank everybody that has supported me through this whole thing. You know, without the people that supported me through this whole thing, I, there's no way I would have been able to go through this. And, you know, a lot of YouTube content creators always talk about how much they appreciate their fans. And <laughs> thank their you guys audience, for supporting me. I feel like a lot of these guys will never understand the full extent of it until, well, they get some people that want their blood. And I can't even express how much I want to say thank you to everybody that has supported me through this entire thing. I mean, like, this has been one of the worst things that's happened to me in the 20 years I've been alive, and just to see so many people actually def- Why is he even, like, I don't know, whatever. The middle of this video is weird, where he's like, thanks for all the support, this is one of the worst things that ever happened to I me. Would've, I would've killed myself, and they run It's like, nothing like, happened to you, I it happened to Tommy. I would've literally put the gun in my mouth. I would've literally put the gun in my mouth. But this situation caused a conversation around audience responsibility, and how much responsibility does someone like Leafy or someone like Pyrocynical hold for their satire content where they make fun of people and then uh, undoubtedly a portion of their audience will, will make fun of that person right um they actually talked about this on keemstar leafy is here roast battle i believe it was on this video they talked about um satire content i think it was this one if I this one yeah, yeah 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 so the same thing happened after leafy made a video about this goth dude they had like a little bit of a beef and then leafy was like i actually don't want people to criticize these people or go after them and this is why See, that's what, that's that's exactly what I was talking about with me and Pyro. We were thinking about making a, a video talking about satire content and how we make videos about people, but again, it's just parody and it's just your more comedic values. It's not we're not we're not legitimately hitting these people. Like, do you think I go to bed and I'm like, oh, these fucking guys? All right, like, so Mr. Well, Mr. Mr. Darkness, you've been harassed. Obviously, been harassed by Leafy and his fans and stuff. Yeah. Indeed. But do you take any responsibility for it? Because I mean, you did upload a video where you were cast a goddamn magic spell on Leafy. <laughs> like, you had a doll, and you were stabbing the doll, and you even cut blood on your hand and rubbing... So the question becomes, like, is it Leafy... Because Leafy never said, go harass this person, right? Obviously. But if you shit on someone, if you give them shit, and your audience is big, some portion of that audience is going to go. 
is going to go after them. It's it's a question of like human agency. If I make a video or I'm just making fun of someone, but there's never a call to action, it's going to be really like subjective when someone watches it if they if they feel I'm asking for harassment for that person or not. Because yeah, like, and the other thing is, at the end of the day, like, no matter what you say, someone will go. Even if you tell them not to, someone will. Oh yeah, someone will be underage. Someone will be just as angry as you are. Someone will think it's real. Like there's always going to be that one person who doesn't get it and then goes after the mm -hmm. person. But is that your fault? Like you, you just can't be in control of other people. Like there's no, there's no way you can be to blame if you do. Well, that's tell that's what my argument comes down to. I would agree. So this person named uh, Pillow Fort said, y'all, I'm actually so hype. This is hilarious. This woman indoctrinated me as a minor into being an anti-SJW. I watched her content as a child and became further bigoted than I already was for my environment. She probably had this effect on thousands of children. And the question becomes, at what point does this become your responsibility to your own beliefs versus the media that you're consuming, right? She won had, for example, I think is pretty tame from what I remember. I haven't seen every she won had video. I haven't really watched her in like years, to be honest. But from what, what I remember about this, shoe, it was not that crazy. It was like, we just, were saying this like a couple of days ago. Yeah. Like we, we, same with the one about like I dubs me go right wing. It's like, no, that's, that's your, that's your choice. That's what you did. Uh, yeah. But a lot of people put the all like almost all the agency not on themselves for having those beliefs, but on the YouTubers who supposedly encouraged it. Even if Shu One Head or Idubs weren't explicitly saying be racist because they enjoyed edgy humor, the argument is that they opened the door for that. And I think you have to. I think it's okay to feel ashamed of your past. I think it's not okay to project your feelings and how you reacted to something and project the responsibility that you hold onto other creators. I think that not everyone is. Not everyone should be treated like a baby. And people have a responsibility to, you know, become educated, become informed, to learn about the world around them, to learn about what's good and what's bad. There's another tweet like this, and I just pulled it up, obviously. This kid named Dino Nuggets said, I'll be one of the first to admit items is one of the main reasons I fell into the alt-right pipeline and ended up getting suspended from school for how out-of-pocket and bigoted I was. Anyone who thinks items does not have a serious negative effect on the youth is simply wrong. This person would go on to say that uh, they called minorities at school, I assume like black kids, like slurs. And that's what got them suspended. Idubs didn't do that. There's no video of Idubs calling a black person the N-word. You can argue that you watching that made you feel more comfortable saying that word to black people. But Idubs didn't tell you to do that. You, of your own volition, saw that media. And as a child, use it as an excuse to justify that action. Now, I'm not saying that uh, you should be held responsible for that. Because you were a kid. You were a kid. I don't care. What I am saying is that I don't think you can hold Idubs and Filthy Frank and Shoe on Head and whoever the else accountable for what you personally decided to do for what you decided to do like as a kid obviously media is very influential media is very influential to how you act what you like what you think is acceptable what you think is cool you can't deny that media has an effect on on people but people also have a responsibility undoubtedly to make sure that they're not doing anything bad to make sure that they're not taking things the wrong way they have a responsibility to themselves you know if if there's a, if there's some kind of political movement and they're you know saying that this group of people is bad and then someone you know like in the and boys goes out and murders some one of those groups of people you can say that the person who made that content maybe has some kind of responsibility to not put out that message maybe you can disagree with it at the end of the day when it comes to like court or whatever you don't put the fucking news anchor in jail you put the murderer in jail because they're the one who perpetrated the action and the law and everyone else in the world in the real world not on twitter in the real world recognizes that you have a responsibility to yourself for your own actions you can't just blame other people like it's it, it is your fault when you do something bad if Idub's videos made you feel comfortable saying the n-word then that's not Idub's fault that's actually your fault because you misunderstood his message in the videos themselves he never said listen guys i'm gonna be honest i think what you need to do is go to your teacher if he's black call him the n-word he never said that there's no reason to come away with that opinion he's clearly doing comedy now Idub's has this imaginary guilt about i mean it's real guilt but i think it comes from a, an insecurity of him not being able to make good content which he admits in his video but he has this imaginary thing of responsibility ludwig talks about this too that responsibility is is only real if you want it to be i personally don't feel responsible for my audience does if i tell them to do something and they do it then i feel responsible but like do i have to explain every single joke every single statement every single opinion like in depth because a few people won't understand it no and plus that ruins the fucking joke like that's just gay that's gay to explain everything you say so i'm not gonna do that i'm just not yeah uh as far as the parasocial sh um i'm not 
I'm not a thought leader. I don't I don't run any kind of responsibility. Um, or sorry, I don't feel responsibility for what my audience does. I'm not trying to lead them to to the to the promised land. I'm not trying to run any political movement. I think parents are responsible for what their kids do. I think your community is responsible for what your kids do. I think you're responsible for educating them. And I'm sorry that Dino Nuggets parents didn't love him enough to tell him that he shouldn't have said the N-word to black kids at school and that, that would have gotten him suspended. Um, I will tell my children not to do that because I will love them very much. Um, unlike Dino Nuggets parents who apparently have 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 no love for him or weren't paying enough attention to what the f he was doing it should have been because their kid was acting and out of pocket right um so yeah there's my f rant about this birdie you can go but that's 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 my my synopsis no i, I fully agree especially in the dino nugget situation it's like you can't blame idubs especially not even for like something you did but like a choice you made like oh i want to become far right now like even if you think his content was offensive or harmful or whatever you know that can be argued but that doesn't mean that like that content is justification for a choice you made like i'm gonna become a nazi for example like this whole argument no is, the like, politics the thing is so like I would even be more understanding if it's just like normalizing slurs, but like saying that you became like racist and it's Idub's fault and that he had that effect. No, you had that effect on yourself. If you became alt right because of fucking content cop, like you're just retarded. You're a dumbass. I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. You're stupid. Yeah. Sorry, you can go. I just. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no! I, I, I thought you were. Gonna, I thought you were like taking a big breath and you're about no, to go no, off no, again. No. 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 I mean, I. I fully agree. I think the problem is also in your audience. Most people agree because if they like your content, they understand the difference between like you know what a creator says and what their fans do. Because you know you're looking at like YouTubers have fallen off or have made mistakes or done this and that. But I think in like some circles and communities, this is like completely misunderstood. Like their their understanding is no, no. You have like an obligation to speak on issues. Like I. I don't know what community I would label this as, but there are like certain communities where it's promoted the idea that like if you have a large following, you have to give your opinion on whatever issue of the day. You have to have a stance on this like LGBT or this social issue. You have to promote these causes. And I think that's the problem is like no one in your community or your friends is going to like agree with this. But there are a sizable amount of people that do think like that who think, well, you know, you you have to speak on these issues. You have to you have to understand that being popular means that you you will influence how people act. There's this dude named Hoover who I remember years ago, I think when BLM was going off. Let me see here. Uh, he said, if you're a social media influencer staying silent about what's going on right now because you don't want to be political or lose followers, just admit you want to keep racist in your fan base. It's like if your biggest priority right now is not losing followers, then you seriously need to reevaluate your pathetic life because there's black people losing their lives to police while you're worried about a virtual number i don't understand some people i don't think it's that i don't think it has anything to do with it. i think it's just like i'm like you, you m most youtubers are not political whatsoever they make entertainment videos they do um and frankly, I, I, I sympathize with the, with the police brutality issue. Uh, statistically, I think it's it's not a huge issue, to be honest with you. And I don't think that YouTubers speaking up about it is going to fix the fucking issue, okay? You know, talk to your senators, talk to your congresspeople, um, talk to local politicians, talk to the police department, try to get that going on. But um, I, don't, I don't think YouTubers have a responsibility to talk about politics at all, to talk about any of these issues. I don't think YouTubers have a responsibility to talk about fucking anything other than do their job which is a responsibility they themselves e can choose. I, this is a personal belief. I wouldn't have proof of this, but I think personally it's an ego thing. It's like, I want to put my views out there and I have a big platform. So I'll say that I have an obligation because if I say I want to talk about it, then I look bad. It's like when you see Twitter accounts that have like 50,000 followers, like guys, we need a serious issue. It's like, no, you're, you're a Twitter account. People look at you for your funny your funny jokes, not, not because of your like deep political musings. I think that's the problem here. It's like, I want to give my issue on police brutality or be them but i have to i have to make it look like i'm being forced to talk about it like oh if you're not talking about it you're racist like, that's how i think they justify it in their head that's mm -hmm. how i view it anyway yeah yeah I, I mean i agree with what you're saying but yeah i just uh i don't know i don't think creators hold that much responsibility i think this is a big baby like crying emoji take um to be honest with you what kind of person do you have to be where like your every view on social issues is based on youtubers like oh <laughs> Idiot. Jack's films is talking about Biden now. Now I now I support Biden. Like, is that is that how this the world works? Like, I don't, I don't understand this mindset at all. Yeah, and if YouTubers want to speak up about social issues, whatever, I'm not gonna stop them. I don't care. I used to be really annoyed by it. Um, now it's just like I don't know. I don't give a. Shit. 
I don't care. I follow like a bunch of accounts of different views, but at the end of the day, I, my my issue more so is it's like shoved in my face. Like if I watch someone every three seconds, he's like these dumb libtards in their college. Like yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna close the video because I don't care. But if he just if he's clearly left wing or right wing, but he's making good content, mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah, I don't. I, mean, I have an issue with like this sort of shit. I suppose people aren't watching like me so that I can tell them that black people need help. They're watching me so I tell them about the Leafy is here drama. You know what I mean? That's why they're watching me. I don't feel that I in any position honestly in terms of my education level on these subjects it's so limited in terms of like politics my education level is so low i feel like i shouldn't talk about it unless i really like i'm passionate about a certain thing like free speech which i feel somewhat educated on um and and beyond that like i just don't i don't know i don't feel the need i don't i don't feel the, it's not my job you know i'm not a, i'm not a politician i'm not a political speaker i make drama videos my opinion is nothing you know what i mean yeah no i feel you i it's again i think it might be a slight issue of like your your fans will agree with you but uh i think for most normal people that's the view yeah but you have a lot of you have a lot of people on twitter or whatever that don't feel that way obviously this is a very twitter, twitter isn't a real place and it always highlights it makes the minority seem the majority you never know really what the majority think yeah i mean obviously this is an old tweet i'm not trying to like get this guy in drama i don't know him um i just found that 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 particular thread of tweets cringe and i i, I it was brought back up in my mind as a result um, but yeah, there will be a, a, a new a new video or whatever about that stuff um, on this channel um, this week, and not that long, so you guys can can look out for that. Um, let me see here. Yes, King of Nothing. I'll play Fortnite with you later. Um, what else is going on on the internet? What else, what else is going on as far as like drama topics to discuss? I don't know. I mean, it's. I mainly have been seeing the discourse around this. Like, you know, I saw Willie Mac show fighting about it. But um, beyond that, I don't know. There hasn't really been a lot going on. Mm. Get a Smosh clearly is the biggest issue in my life. Yeah.